Hi YouTube, it's Tasha. First of all, I just want to say, please excuse all the noise that you're going to hear. My neighbors are outside. I don't know what's going on with them. The grand's in another room. I think they're jumping to bed. And I got one right here sucking on the bottle. So, I'm going to try to get to this as quick as possible. This will be my January, February, March empties. And a lot of these things I did use, but my daughter helped me with a couple of them. So let me pick up the basket and I can show you. First is these chips. These are some vegetable chips. And according to the bag that one serving of these is, one bag of chips is one serving of vegetables. So, and these are actually pretty good. So if you see this brand, pick it up. I recommend them. I went through a bottle of nail polish remover. This one was a Family Dollar brand. Let me try to get it here. There we go. I went through this Equate Deep Moisture Body Wash, and this is my favorite. It smells oh so heavenly. It's the best, and I highly recommend it. I haven't repurchased it yet, but I am going to. I just haven't had the chance to go and get it. This is an empty container of Nunat. Let me see. I can't get my old container. And what I do is I have a hair journal. And I used to take the labels off of the products that I use, especially the ones that I use up. And I put them in my hair journal and write down my thoughts on the products. And this is Nunat Conditioning Mask. And as you can see, it is very empty. And I highly recommend it. I already have a, another one of those. My favorite Huggies. Baby wipes. Love these for makeup clean, cleaning up. And actually um, craft projects as well. I used up a sample of Dr. Miracle. I have no opinion on this. It was just a one time sample. This mane and tail, I hear a lot of people like it. I really didn't form an opinion on it, good or bad. This was the sample of Dr. Pericone that I had gotten from Sephora. I actually do like this product, but because of the price, I will not be repurchasing. Well, not even repurchasing, I will not purchase. This was just a sample. These are the Elf makeup wipes. And I do love these, and I have repurchased. I used up two line stylus from Maybelline, this particular pencil. They don't make anymore. They don't sell or whatever. It's, it's been discontinued, and I have to get these from eBay or some other site. And I'm thinking about not getting them again because... Right now, I'm loving a lighter brow, and this does a very dark brow. It's espresso, but I do highly, highly recommend this pencil if you can find it. It's a great pencil, though. This is not used up. This is the Great Lash Waterproof Mascara. I, I'm not, I'm going, I'm throwing this out because it irritated my eyes. So, I like the product, but... Like I said, just irritation, so I'm throwing it out. Oh, this little bitty pencil. And I don't even know, this was a NYX pencil. And I just can't sharpen it anymore. Let's see. So, I'm getting rid of this. And I highly recommend NYX's pencils. This e.l.f. blush contour duo. This was the one that was dubbed as the... Orgasm Laguna Dupe. My daughter cleaned it out. And I just took it out because I wanted to keep the compact itself with the mirror. And I just thought it was nice. So I'm trying to figure out how I can reuse that. This is the clean color one in the purple. This was or is a horrible product. I gave it to her. She didn't even like it. So I'm just tossing it. And I would not be purchasing anything from clean colors that I'm aware of. No. This is another pencil that I purchased and I was 
sorry, I forgot it. It's a Maybelline Master Shape Eyebrow Pencil. I don't know what I was thinking. I just absolutely hate this pencil. It doesn't sharpen well. It splinters. My little spoolie even came off. I tried to glue it back. It wouldn't stay. So if I had my receipt, I would actually take it back. But since I don't, I'm trashing it. And I don't recommend it at all. This is a Wet n Wild Lippy. I don't even want to try to find the color. I just don't like it. I don't like shimmery lipsticks or anything. Lips with the sheen. I'm a matte girl. So I don't like this at all. So I'm just throwing it away. Getting rid of it. This is Lock On Lash. And I highly recommend Lock On Lash, the newer version. This one, the little applicator broke. And so I'm just throwing it out. It's almost gone. I'm sure it still had a little bit of something in there. But the applicator broke, so I'm just trashing it. But I do highly, highly recommend Lock On Lash. So latex free lash adhesive. This is a vitamin E stick. The ones that I get these from Walmart and it's empty. And I highly recommend these. I love these. Carmex. I do highly recommend Carmex. This was a NYX blush in terracotta. I was attempting to depot it and I shattered it. So I'm just getting rid of it. I think I even threw out the blush itself. This is a Wet n Wild gel liner, the black one. My daughter went through this one and she really, really cleaned it. There's nothing, absolutely nothing left in there. And I do recommend this. This e.l.f. was just the Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. I personally did not like this. So I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. This was the CoverGirl blush in golden pink. And as you can see, it is gone. My daughter again, she went through it. And I'm not mad at her. This was the closest blush that I could use to dupe Max Raisin. And this is CoverGirl Cheekers in Golden Pink. I don't think it's, it's not even enough of here to even try to do a swatchy thing or anything. I don't know if that might work. Put it up close. See if you can see the color wherever it's at. Right there. So again, CoverGirl Cheekers in Golden Pink. This got shattered as well, but it was just about going. This is Pearlescent Pink, Wet n Wild. Again, my daughter. And she loved it. These last six items are not empties per se. I actually depotted these. And these these three from the Milani, the no, I guess the regular line, Terrasol, Bellissimo Bronze, and Luminoso. I took these out. I took the product out, so I'm getting rid of this. And these are the mineral blushes. And this were Sunset Beach, I think it's the Luminous, and Mai Tai. That's what, that is what was in these. I'm going to New York, to IMAX in New York. And yes, I do have my IMAX ticket, you know, the plane flight. Well, listen to me, the plane flight. I have my IMAX ticket. I bought it probably about two months ago, if not longer, when I first heard them, heard that they were you know, selling them. I went on and got my ticket and made my reservations, flight, hotel, all of that. So I do have all of that and I'm looking forward to my first visit to IMAX New York. That is my 
January, February, and March empties. And for those of you who are going to IMAX New York, I look forward to seeing you there. Okay. Bye-bye, guys.